Hi. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about Amazing Charts, our EMR software that comes with the book The Professional Medical Assistant by Sharon Eagle and her team. This is our core medical assistant textbook. Amazing Charts comes with uh, any adoption of the book. And uh, it's a very powerful EMR software that you get the whole thing with. And I know you know that because I've already videoed that. Uh, and you can look, you can go view that if you want. But this time I want to talk really about some of the hidden benefits, so to speak, of Amazing Charts that you might not know about unless you really look for them. Even though, they, I mean, they're there. It's just they're easy enough to find. <laughs> it's not difficult. One of the first things is a five-minute clinical consult. Now, five-minute clinical consult is a, is a textbook of medical information. And so when you go into a patient's chart, and this particular patient has Bell's palsy, or Bell palsy now, uh, and I'm going to, I have this on a clipboard, I'm going to try to hold these up so you can read them. This is uh, the uh, five-minute clinical consult for that particular patient bringing up Bell palsy. And it's all the information you could look at about Bell, Bell palsy, and it's there automatically. So when you put a diagnosis down on the patient, that information comes up. So not only could the student, will the student understand how to put a diagnosis in an electronic medical record, they can learn about the disease as well. It's a huge resource for them. Uh, another feature is an, an E&M code wizard. Um, they call it a, uh, an E&M coding helper. And that's what it is. The E&M codes, as you know, are very difficult for students to understand. They, uh, they're sort of hard to get your hands around. When you, once you can, I'm told, <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty easy, it's pretty understandable. But students really struggle with that. You know that, I know that. Well, they have amazing charts as an E&M helper. Um, Andy, get it there. There we go. And you put in some basic information about the patient and it takes you through a series of questions, uh, putting in information, for example, about uh, select the complexity of this, this encounter. Is it straightforward, low, moderate, high? Um, how many exam findings were there? None, one through five, six through 11, and so forth. And it gives you, by answering all these areas on the, on the, in the wizard, it gives you the most likely code that you then can code for an e &M visit. Really cool to help students understand that difficult uh, concept. Immunization schedules. Your pediatric patients that you get, have in the, in the, uh, the office. Um, you don't have to go to another place to find the immunization schedules. They're all right here in Amazing Charts. Oops. There we go. Uh, there's a tabs at the top listing all the immunization schedules they have. I'm holding it down and I, yeah, let me cover my bald head. There you go. Um, Pediatrics, uh, 0 to 6, 7 to 18, catch up, adult, uh, those are notes, specific indications, all kinds of immunization schedules so for the students. So really, really a great resource there. And the last one I want to show you, if I can uh, split the paper, uh, is a code search, ICD-9 or CPT codes. You can go to this little wizard at any time and type in, I've typed in, I have no idea whether you're going to be able to read that or not, but I've typed in 5-9? Five, five, yeah, 5-9. It's a type along, so the more numbers you put in, or uh, uh, words. If you typed in diabetes and started to type in D-I-A-B, it would start giving you, listing all of the diabetic uh, codes. So you could, it's a really cool helper there as well. Um, besides that, the student, or you, can print out any tab within a patient, the demographics tab, the billing tab, whatever the tabs are, or all of that date, patient data all at once. You can print out a CMS 1500 form. It not only views like that, I'm not very good at snapping my fingers, but it does very quickly, just like that, um, come up. You can print that, and that can be submitted as part of the homework. You Invoices, you can print out all the invoices. You can print out all the bills for that day. Tons of, uh, of prints you can get to have students really work that software. In case you don't know how to use it, or students don't know how to use it, there are online tutorials, ton of them, on the Amazing Charts website, amazingcharts.com. And, uh, and I'll put the little link right here. Or this way, wherever it's, wherever it's going. 
and uh, that will help your students really learn the ins and outs of the software. There are also wikis up there. Uh, the wiki is, uh, is something that it's interactive community really of amazing chart users and there are a number of uh, physician offices that have gone up and asked questions and then they've received answers so it's a huge knowledge base online at amazingcharts.com there's like nothing there's nothing else like this there's no other product for the medical assistant market offers anything remotely close um, so really I urge you to check out uh, the professional medical assistant and uh, the amazing chart software I think uh, I think you really like it thanks